But people most of the time think, hey, I just bought it and it's mine. No, no, no. You get the right to use it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. If I look at this thing, a name, title, slogan, I will look at, okay, what do you want to protect? Or what's your goal of your business? Or what is your business model? Based on those things, you will know, okay, is it worth it to register as a uh, copyright? But I won't do it copyright. I will go for a trademark. Even if your budget is not that high, go for a trademark. You will start small, but register the minimum requirements. And then later you will go for the full package. Let me give you an example. Let's say you develop a um, software. You have a brand name for it. You're starting out. It's getting well. It's uh, yeah, it's growing in the community. You started first with 10 people and then 100 people in like three months. And after six months, you have 1000 people that are using your software. But you figure out that, hey, my software is not only me using my community, but also outside my community. How do I, uh, how can I protect my name? Best thing which you can do is start small, okay, what's my country? And um, what can I protect and what can I not protect? Make a list of, of the intellectual property. We're not going to talk about intellectual property of the software, but let's say the name and the brand name and all the stuff. Make a list what you have. See, okay, this is my business model. What is important for my business model? And after that, see what are my options? Okay, this is my business name. Is it worth it um, copyrighted or is it worth it making notes that I have copyright on it? You can do that, but it depends on the copyright, on the name. Okay. Best thing which you can do is register the name for, ser for your services as a trademark. Then you have a protector. You don't have to worry about copyright and other stuff. Same apply for a title. Okay. So when you have title for certain kind of sub um, products or name for certain kind of sub product, you can also register those things. When you have a slogan, same story. When you have a logo, someone created the logo for you and they have copyright on it. Let them transfer the copyright to you or to your company. When they transfer to your company or to you, you have those rights. And transfer is not like um, they are saying that in the terms. No, you need to have a contract. When you have a contract where they sign it, that they transfer, transfer it, then you have it. Because sometimes in certain kind of country in the law, it states that if you want to transfer your intellectual property, it has to go through, um, you need to have a signature. It's not like you accept something online that's going to work. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. So in the Dutch kingdom, it's also like that. You need to sign, you need to sign a uh, contract. I will call it contract. It has another name, but you need to sign the contract. And when you sign the contract, then you receive the copyright. But people most of the time think, hey, I just bought it and it's mine. No, no, no. You get the right to use it. It's the same with taking a picture. If you hire a photograph, to take picture of you yeah you just hire him for his time you just hire him to edit your picture same with video you just hire them to edit or um, or edit or taking pictures of, of video doesn't matter you just do that when they do when they create the things they just give you the right to use it if you're a commercial company and you want to use it for your commercial, you pay the photographer, you just get the rights to use it. You can read it in the terms or you can read it in a contract. Even if you don't have a contract, okay, they just can say, I never transfer my copyright to you because you never signed something. So if you hire someone, try to look at the contract. What are my licenses? If my license is only the, the right to use, think about it. Is it worth it for your company to hire this person of this company or not? And if you want those right, try to figure out how to negotiate. Because if you want them to transfer the copyright, most of the time they will ask you three times as much. So let's say you pay 100 or 200 for the photo, for, for the photo and you want those copyrights, expect to pay 600 for it two or three times because you are getting those rights 
they are doing this they are, they are giving you those rights they are not giving the rights to use that's two different things when you look at this question of copyright try to figure out okay what's my situation and based on that situation you know okay is it worth it to copyright this or is it worth it to go to the trademark way copyright doesn't have to be this difficult but as soon as you understand how the system work you know how to read the law it's going to get easy try to remember when you read the law in certain kind of country it's all about making choices it's all about understanding what they mean by, by that i'm just giving you a guideline so you know how it works but if you have question about it you can just go on the discord ask me directly and i will see what i can do for you if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I'll make mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be great